Kit Guru is with Kingston at Computex 2025. They have three rooms, this room dedicated to servers, or as I think of it, the money. Come on in, Rosie. Look at this server, which has a number of different Kingston products. So here we have a whole stack of memory, as shown at the front. Their memory rated up to DDR5 6400 in server form, up to 128 gigabytes per stick. We have storage in the front caddies right here. These are examples. The code not very exciting, but the spec is they're Gen 5 and they go up to 14 gigabytes per second or 14,000 megabytes per second. So very fast, same sort of uh, speed as desktop SSDs. I'm surprised to see how fast they can be. And then we have a M.2. And if we look here, we see the boot drive for the server is a conventional M.2 albeit quite a fast M.2, but there we go. So one little M.2 to get it going, a whole heap of enterprise drives to keep it running, and a ton of memory. And that's how Kingston makes their cash. I just realized cash is a terrible pun. I apologize. Over in the corner, we can see a rocket. No, it's not a product, even though it's got Kingston branding. If we look at the screen, we can see the rocket was designed using Kingston products by some students. They show a little video of the students looking very happy at school. So the students designed a rocket in CAD using Kingston products. And the result is a rocket in the corner. But no, we can't play with it. And no, you can't buy it. And now we move to the busy room, the room of consumer products. And we have over here. Kingston Fury Renegade G5 SSD. Simon reviewed the M.2 SSD on kitguru.net just recently. It's their new Gen 5 SSD powered by Silicon Motion. He gave it 9 out of 10, liked it a great deal. To the left, Kingston Fury Beast DDR5 RGB. This is conventional desktop memory up to 6800 mega transfers and up to 128 gigabytes. We go to the left. We have CU DIMMs DDR5. I've used these in Arrow Lake systems myself. Very good. The speed up to 8800 mega transfers. And as they say on the board, Kingston Fury infrared sync technology. Uh, it uses infrared to link each module to the next. So the RGB lighting remains in sync. And then we see in this system in the corner, that lighting in action. The system running on their own DDR5 memory with a Gen 5 SSD, exactly as we'd expect. This is good stuff and we know all about it. This is the really good stuff. We have here Kingston Fury Impact DDR5 Cam 2 on a gigabyte motherboard. This is obviously a prototype because this isn't uh, a system that's yet available to the public. I imagine that's Intel Arrow. Oh, of course, Z890, duh. Z890, so they've uh, adapted an existing motherboard. And here we see examples of the Fury Impact DDR5 CAM2 memory. We've seen this at the previous Computex, and I think we saw it at CES this year. So it's still a prototype form, up to 128 gigabytes per module at the moment. That's double the previous spec. We're expecting to see this turn of the year, although they're showing it in this gigabyte desktop system. Initially, we're expecting to see this in notebooks or laptops. I personally think Intel Panther Lake is the likeliest, and that's due to launch end of 2025 and then go on sale very early 2026. The Kingston rooms have been busy. We've been battling past people for our whistle-stop tour, but it's a good way to start Computex 2025. Don't forget, KitGuru is on TikTok, and check us out at kitguru.net.